Guys, we're gonna do a roasted and smoked duck on the wood fire grill today. You're not gonna wanna miss this one because I'm eager to see how it turns out too. Okay, so little backstory real quick. People have been asking me to make a duck on the wood fire for over a year now. Now for me, ducks are hard to find here in Southern California, but I just happen to be walking by the freezer section, uh, you know, when I'm at the grocery store and boo, popped it in my eye. I'm like, oh my gosh, there's a duck. So for all those people that have been waiting, we got a duck. I will be 100% honest with you. I am not a huge fan of duck, but I think I figured out a way to make it a little more barbecue-y, like, Little more not so fancy avant-garde duck that you get in a in a like a restaurant. This is just gonna be some nice roasted smoked duck, okay? So what we did to get to this point is we have to go back to last night where we prepped this bird, got it out of the packaging, got all the giblets and whatnot out of it, dried it off, uh, got it on a rack. We got to trim off some of them fatty skin bits on there. There was a little duck tail thing sticking up out of the back. I cut that off. Then I went to town on it with my knife. So I just did little bitty prick holes through the whole breast and into some of the leg. Any parts where I see a lot of fat underneath that skin, put little, little bitty holes all the way around it. Now what that's gonna do is help open up that skin, help draw out that moisture, render that fat while it's roasting and get it ready to absorb some of the salt that I'm gonna put on it for the dry brine. So after we got done putting the little holes into the skin, I dry brined it with a little bit of kosher salt uh, all the way around it, in the cavity, anything, anywhere, I just covered it in some of kosher salt, into the fridge overnight. As you can see when I pull it out this morning, a lot of that moisture is pulled out of that bird, which means some of that salt flavor got drawn back into there and that's what we like to do with our birds. We dry brown, right? Next step, sprayed it down with a little avocado oil just so our barbecue rub sticks. I got a little uh, competition bird powder by uh, Uncle Steve Shake. I'll put a link down below if you want to grab some. So again, we're kind of treating this more like a backyard bird, little yard bird action, as opposed to like a restaurant, cut the duck breast off, sear it, all that other, you know, fancy stuff, right? We were just cooking the duck. Hope you're with me thus far. We're seasoned up. We got our temp spike in there. We're going to monitor the temps. Uh, we're going to take it to about 150. With the duck, it doesn't have to go to 165. I don't really like to take it to 165. You know, you serve the duck breast medium rare in most cases. So I'm just kind of leveling it out. We'll take it to 150, let it uh, rest to about 155, and just chill out. Now, a couple of ways people have cooked their ducks that I've seen is give it smoke at a low temperature, it's about 225, until it come up to a certain internal temperature. I'm not thinking that's what I wanna do. I don't wanna go low and slow with the bird. I wanna hit it with some heat. So we're gonna go 375 on the roast feature. If you do not have the roast feature, and you only have like the three and one, uh, use the smoker setting at 375. Okay. Since we're using the roast feature, we're gonna hit that wood fire flavor button. We're using cherry wood pellets from Bear Mountain Barbecue. That's the pellets I'm kind of been rocking with for a little while here. I dig the flavor and it works really well in the wood fire, okay? So we got those pellets in, we're ready to fire up. The duck's chilling right here. I know there's probably a bit of over talking on this one, but again, you know me, I like to explain my way through it. So you know what we're gonna do, all the steps. We're good to go. I want you to be successful in your cooks, so I'm gonna give you all the tools I can. Speaking of tools, I have three cookbooks for the wood fire grill. I'll link them all down below. They're e-cookbooks, you download them. They're five bucks each, or they're 12 bucks for the bundle for all three. So make sure you check them out. Helps out the channel, helps out your boy. And they got tons of great recipes in there. Okay, real easy to follow too. Enough talking, let's get this thing fired up. What do you say? Let's turn this bad boy on. Well, hello. All right, we're gonna go to the mode. Take it down to the roast feature. It has 350 defaulted. We're going to take it to 375. Time, it's not going to take that long, but I don't want to come out here and mess with the time. So we're just going to put it at an hour. We're going to hit that wood fire flavor button, right? Hit start and let it go through the ignition process. We got our duck over here chilling, getting ready to go in there. Temp spikes in there. Let's go. Smoke is rolling, guys. Smoke is rolling. All right, party people. Got some smoke rolling, a little heat going. We'll put our duck on. All right, we'll see you in a few minutes, Daffy. <laughs> Get it that good smoke, we'll come on back. All right, guys, we're coming up on about 25 minutes and this duck is almost done. We're almost to 150. I gave it a quick peek. It's got a nice dark color. Tell the fat is rendering out of there. We're gonna have a nice crispy skin on there. So I feel like this is gonna be the way to go with duck. 
like I said, other people presented me different ways of doing how they did their duck, but I think this is a pretty good, solid way to get it done. Let's go ahead and uh, get ready to pull this thing off and we'll uh, let it rest for about 15, 20 minutes. Just let everything kind of bind and let all those juices redistribute all that stuff like we do. And then we'll chop into it, okay? Come on down and let's pull this thing off. In 27 minutes, let's go with that, okay? A good look at that duck. You can tell that fat rendered out really nicely. Nice and dark and dark tan. People pay a lot of good money for this tan right here. That is looking nice. We're gonna take this out. Got a piece of tin foil over here. Actually about halfway through the cook, I turned it around just to make sure that, oh, look at all those juices flying out. What? You know that's a juicy bird. All right, let's get it on the cutting board over here. I'm gonna cover it up with a little bit of foil. Just to, you know, keep it chilling. Let it rest. Okay. And we'll come back and we'll chop into it. Okay, team, we got our bird right here. Little Daffy Duck. All right, I took off the little wings. It looked really weird when I was trying to take my pictures for this thing, so give him a quick chop. So I'm gonna carve off one of the breasts right here, just kind of take it along the edge of the breastbone, just like I do with um, like any other poultry. Should have a little bit of pink to it. Okay, so yeah, there's a little bit of pink in there, which is okay for duck, right? We got our duck breast right here. I'll go ahead and slice it up and we'll take a bite. Using a smaller knife here, just because it's such a small bird. But you can see it's juicy like crazy, right? That's what you get when you're not overcooking it. The skin is not as crispy. I think tinting it kind of took away a little bit of that skin, but you can see the fat is rendered bit through there. All right, let's take a bite. Got a little bite. Again, I'm not a huge fan of duck, but I'll talk about the flavors and the smoke and you know the barbecue rubs and whatnot, but got a little bite here from the breast. Good, that is really good. Okay, dry brining it like we did and treating it like we did really took down that gaminess that you get in a duck. I'm pretty sure this is not a wild caught duck. I didn't actually look at the packaging, so it's probably a bit more mild than something you get out of the, you know, the wild, mild, wild. If you're wondering why there's more smoke than what's normally coming out of there, coming this way, I'm actually barbecuing some uh, burnt ends on my kettle to the side. So if you're catching smoke this way, that's why. <laughs> I got smoke coming both ways here, baby. Anyway, very tasty. I get the smoke in there. Not as gamey as you'd, you'd think it would be with duck. You know that Uncle Steve's is treating you right. That, that competition bird powder, great flavors in there. The, the color of this bird turned out perfect. If I were a fan of duck, this would be a perfect duck to me. The only thing I think I would do different next time is maybe air crisp it. Okay, so like give it some, uh, give it a little bit of time for smoke. Just maybe like, 10, 15 minutes of smoke at a lower temperature. I know I said I didn't really want to go low and slow with it, but I kind of think maybe a little bit of smoke time and then just a, a hard heat, that air fryer, that air crisp mode, if you will. You know, blast it with some like 400 degree heat, 450, and just get everything nice and crispy on the outside. I think that might be the way to go. Um, if you've cooked a duck uh, on the wood fire, and it turned out the way you wanted to and it was really good throw your steps down below in the comments that way whoever's watching this if they don't want to try it my way which was beautiful duck all right it turned out really well but if you want to try different ways of doing it look in the comments maybe we'll have some good ideas down there too listen if you need to get one of these wood fire grills links down below you know what i'm saying it's the xl grill i use my xl on this one but this recipe can be done in your regular wood fire grill parameters are pretty the same you could probably do it in the wood fire oven too i mean I think it's same same setup. You should be good to go. For knives, cutting boards, merch, the cookbooks for the wood fire, all down below. Okay. If you'd like to become a show producer, like all the awesome people scrolling in front of me right now, people that think of Daffy Duck when they're about to cook a duck, like I did. <laughs> there are two ways to join. Either you can become a Patreon, so click that link down below in the video description, or become a channel member here on YouTube, which is uh, there's a join button right next to the subscribe button, which you should have already hit all underneath the video. Listen, I hope y'all have a wonderful, wonderful week. Thanks for stopping by. Thanks for cooking with CJ. Take care.